say hi from Cherish Math. Here is the question. Solve the following simultaneous equations. There are three equations here and three different variables. These are x, y, and z. And we need to find what are the values for the x, y, and the z. I'm going to name this as the first equation, second equation, and the third equation for all three equations provided here. In solving this kind of a problem, we need to eliminate one of the variables here that could make it simpler. In this case, the variable z could be the most potential one to be eliminated. Let's go for it now. For the first equation, I will have to minus the second equation when I multiply it by 2. So that turns 4x plus y plus 2z equal 0 minus the entire equation here multiplying by 2. That turns negative 4x plus 6y plus 2z is equal 16. And I have to solve it by elimination method. For the 2z minus with the 2z, it is gone. Now, 4x minus negative 4x, we got 8x. Minus y minus 6y is 5y equal negative 16. And I'm going to name this as our fourth equation. But looking at the second equation and the third equation, I know that if I add it up, the z here will be gone. So now, I'm trying to work it out here. When I use the second equation add up with the third equation, these are the summation. And I know z is eventually gone. By simplifying this part, that turns negative x plus 2y is equal 15 over 2. And I'm going to name this as our fifth equation. And what I need to do is by using the fourth equation together with the fifth equation to solve for what is the value of the x and the value of the y. I am going to use the fifth equation multiplied by 8 and then minus the fourth equation. And that gives this as the entire workings. Now, negative 8x plus 8x, this part is gone. Here, 16y minus 5y left 11y. 60 minus 16 left 44. And the value of the y is by using 44 divided by 11, the result is 4. And we found the first value here with the y. Now, for the next step, I will have to substitute y equal to 4 into the fifth equation. That is going to be negative x plus 2. And the value of the y that I'm going to substitute is actually 4 is equal 15 over 2. Now, the value of the x here is going to be 8 minus 15 over 2. Value of x is, in fact, 1 half. And we found the second value. For the last variable that left with the z, I'm going to use the value of the x here and the value of the y here and substitute into the third equation. This is how it goes. So the result would be substituting the value of the x into the third equation that is 1 half putting in minus the value of the y which is 4 here and minus z gives negative 1 half and we can find what is the value of the z easily and now the value of the z is negative 3 
and we solve all three variables x, y, and z in this question. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.